these are really good matchstick guns. Right, so you've got the SP12 gun here then. It's a 12 to 1 ratio. So obviously the power that it pushes the product right, okay. to achieve itself. A very basic uh, skeleton gun would be probably 2 to 1, 3 to oh, 1. Oh, okay. This is 12 to 1. It's so quite a lot powerful, power. yeah. But the beauty of this one is it's anti leak. As soon as I squeeze the triggers together, as soon as I let go, that's going to retract about 2 to 3 mil. Can you see oh, that? Oh, okay, back? yeah. So it stops. So basically, all... rather than you doing a run, the first thing you do is do that to release the pressure. Yeah. You don't need to. Oh, right, okay. Um, obviously, normally it's spewing out the end. Yeah, especially with grip fill, no tubes. It's... All yeah. over the show. Um, grip fill, you do have to use the smaller tubes for this particular one. Yeah. I'll, the I'll try not to use grip such. fill. Rubbish. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, 360 barrel, so obviously if you're on your back somewhere, trying to get it to funny angles, yep. nice and easy. Got a little pin there on the side, um, so obviously if you leave the product in the, in the, in the uh, use a piercing to start it off, with, or uh, if you leave it in the nozzle tube overnight and it goes hard, something to release it off with. Dig it. So, uh, yeah, that's it really. There's Just a 12. Good, so then. Good build quality. That's the 12. You then got um, a 26. Again, this is all down to the power. The so that's much there. more powerful then? It's much more powerful. 26 so this mil. Is, this is um, 26 to 1 ratio, the power it pushes yeah. into the tube. This is for like resins, uh, chemical anchors, stuff that's really, more, really hard yeah. to get through a tube. Um, so if you actually feel that, it's, it's complete different motion to, to what the 12 is. It's a much more slower release. Right, okay, yeah. If you were to put like a, a tube of cork in there, for example, and do that, that would be the whole tube gone. It'd be gone, <laughs> so yeah. Power. So if you're on price spot on a meterage, get that one, it comes out quicker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then this beauty um, is the RS. It's two guns in one. Right, so you've got two clutches. So, or... so if you squeeze that trigger now, for example, okay, and if I do that, and if you try it again. Oh, blimey. Feel the resistance? Yeah, there's nothing there, is there? Right, so you've got a both 8 to 1 and a 16 to 1 ratio. So you've got the best of both worlds. Right, okay, yes, really. yeah. Um, a lot of yeah. people go on the colours purely to do with like football teams. You want <laughs> City or United? Or, oh, you know, right. I don't do football, Chelsea so or or like I'll have that. a neutral one. Oh, okay. But, um, <laughs> no. You know, yeah, quality, yeah. So, I've, so I've it's seen, 22, yeah. 30, and 32, depending on what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah. What's the price of one of those? Uh, that one's 30 pounds. 30 quid. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely, beautiful yeah. kit. And, uh, 22 for that one. Yeah, no, no. There, is, there is two additional guns there. You've got uh, one here sausage for the, gun. the foils yeah. or the sausages. Yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, it's a longer tube, etc. Yeah. And then this one here is for the Jumbo 900. Oh, right, okay. Hence the, yeah. the size of it. Yeah, it's big. Uh, again, it's, it's quite uh, quite specialist. Really. Yeah, okay. No, it's great. Cool. Nice okay. one. Thank you very much. Plenty of people here. It's great, isn't it? One of it? the best shows. Yeah, it's good. I'm impressed, and we've only been here five minutes. <laughs> it's exhausting <laughs> so, looking yeah. at it. Yeah. So put the credit fun, cards man. away. I'm not sure I'm strong enough. There we go, Roger, look at that. Now that's some beast, isn't it? <laughs> That'd be right for cutting the old plum cuts. <laughs> What'd you do the bird's mouth oh. that? Yeah, just do some um, balsa wood models. <laughs> yeah, it's something else, isn't it? What does it weigh, Dan? What does this guess? weigh? Do you know, 30 or 40 kilos? I don't know, it's heavy. <laughs> 16 kilos. Six, 16? Yeah. Is that all? 16 K. Use that. that feels heavier than 16. Your roof in square ways, more than that. 16 kilos. Yeah, it's a proper tour, isn't it? And what about the other, the other question? How much? How much? Nobody knows. I think it's four and a half grand, isn't it? Is that? <laughs> yeah. right, I'm Stacey Owens. Um, the company's More Than Lofts, and I'm based in Worcester Park in Surrey. More than, or more than, more than. More than my, my London accent. So, no, no, so it's me, mate. Yeah, so power tools all my life. Um, and so you're doing loft conversions and loft garden conversions, rooms. garden rooms, extensions, big refurbs, all sorts. Brilliant. It's plugged in. <laughs> Do you know how long that lasts, roughly? I'm going to say five hours. Yeah, I bet it'd be less. On a six amp hour battery. 17 hours on a what, three amp? Or it's five, five. It's not bad though, is it then? No, it's actually a 110 and 240, sorry. Oh, it is? Is there oh, another right. question, can I ask? Does it charge the battery when you plug it in? No, no. 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 it runs off the battery, no, yeah. no. it just runs off. 750 lumens. And it's got 20.05 watt LEDs. Right, it's quite. Um, and it can be rotated to 360 yeah. degrees. I'm quite impressed with that, actually, the time then. I don't know but why I'll you're bothering, Dan. You never go out after I don't, dark. I know, I don't want to, I don't want to work <laughs> in the dark. You're home by 2 o'clock. <laughs>
Now this is Paul, and Paul is the, you're the owner of DM Tools, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, proud owner. And the man behind the show. This show, exactly. The man behind the show and the shop. Yeah. And uh, this show, obviously during COVID, two years you didn't do it. No. Were you nervous had... about it coming back? Yeah. I mean, we missed two shows, so it's three years since 2019 that we're here. Um, yeah, we were nervous. We didn't want to do it with any restrictions. It had to be based on what we've always done. So not any masks no, or any of that? No COVID testing or anything, yeah, anything yeah. like that. So, and it's too small a venue and too full of people to be able to do any restrictions. Yeah, so yeah. it had to be, you know, unrestricted. So what is it, three days this show? Three days. Three days. We get around 10,000 visitors. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, and we, we've had customers in from Ireland, from North Wales. But a guy flew down from Aberdeen yesterday. Mm. Uh, we've had customers, you know, two, three hour drive is, is really commonplace in this show. It yeah. really is. Got a wide it's nuts, isn't it? I, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you, Paul, and say that although I've known you a long time, we've, mm. I've seen you at so many power tool do's around yeah. all over the place, but I've always thought of this show as being a serious woodworker, more guys in cardigans, bit, and, and I, I'm ashamed really because since I've come in here today, We've met so many people who, you know, watch skill and all yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, so, our so show, the number of builders here, it's quite incredible, really. I mean, this is our 20th show yeah. over 22 years. And, yeah, it, this is probably the purest tool show that there is in the UK. Yeah. We've inspired others. We've had a go and then no longer do it. Yeah. <laughs> and this one stayed the course because the, the form is simple. We have the top quality tools. We have huge ranges. This is effectively my big tool shop for three days a week. Yeah, year. I was going to say this. Is, so you're not exhibiting things that you don't sell. No. In so your, every brand in your shop. we sell. Yeah. And if they don't bring more than we already display, then they haven't achieved what we set out to do. So that's why we have such huge stands. Yeah. You know, there's stands here with 25 staff on. Mm. You know, we stretch our suppliers to come yeah. in, deliver what we want with outside demonstrations, live products and demonstrations. A lot of shows these days, they don't want to turn nothing on. No, no. Well, that's not the idea of a show. <laughs> you, know, you want to talk to the manufacturers, yeah. get the inside information. So basically yeah. what we do at our show is what we do in our normal business. I don't sell boxes, I sell tools. Right. So if people come to your shop in Twickenham, you actually power the tools up? Well, we don't just power them up because we don't have the room to do it. Hence, yeah. we do this. Yeah. Yeah. The idea is, they want to know all about the tool, they want to know what the tool does in the box, we know what it does. And we can, we've, got, we've got over 700 power tools on display in our showroom. So they can see all the tools, touchy feel it, and buy it at our online prices. So they can get that upfront and personal experience and still buy it online prices. We've always done it that way. So you don't have to pay through the nose to get good customer service and get your hands on the tools. And here today, over these three days, 10,000 people just demonstrates that really. And they're spending money, you know, hard earned money in hard times. And that's testament to the fact that we can give them exactly what they need. Because a lot of people are very nervous now, aren't they? Ever? Very nervous. And, and I think this is a, a bit of a bubble. Yeah. The show is going to be a bubble, just like COVID was for us. Yeah. We, you know, we traded very strongly through that period. And this doesn't reflect where the general market is. Well, I think yeah. people have saved up their money. The money's more important. And if they want to invest their money wisely, they're going to come along with something like this to get what they want. And Got I don't blame them. Yeah. I would do the same. And there's some cracking deals there. Yeah. Oh, you do special deals on the day? Oh, every day, yeah. Yeah. yeah, everything here is lower than we would normally sell. All right, okay. So, and, and, and there's lots of giveaways and freebies. So yeah, it's, it's a strong deal. You only got to watch people coming in and out. You'll see loads of people with lots of tools and boxes, and they're going, I'm very, very happy. And they're all saying, we're just so glad to be back. So okay. with free entrance and free parking, they can come in, spend 20 quid, and they've had a good day out, or they can spend several thousand pounds, which they are as well. So the choice is there. Win-win, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. Free parking. Is a major bonus, I think. I think so. Because and the fact is right on our doorstep. And yeah. also Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, because with the other shows, they're in the week, so you're losing half a day's money straight away. Yeah. Paint to park your cart when the shows I've been yeah. to. Yeah. It's unticking the boxes. Certainly, with the having the Friday, we find the Friday we get a lot of the discerning woodworkers. You know, we get the guys who perhaps employ guys who might come along. But you know, in today's climate, yeah. we're a busy tradesman. Take a day out of, out of work. Yeah. Personally, you've just lost two hundred, two hundred and fifty quid or whatever. Mm. You know, and you've also lost a day's work, and they yeah. can't afford to do that. So some will come here for a couple of hours, maybe late in the afternoon. But realistically, if I was a tradesman, you know, Saturday, Sunday, and a lot will come today, and you'll see people bringing their kids as well. So it's, it becomes a family out before them. Good day out for the wife. Day out the races, <laughs> you can still lose money, but you might go over to yeah. <laughs> so, Pick a box. <laughs> yeah. well, it's great to so, see you again, yeah, anyway. It's great to see All you. All the right. best. Yeah, cheers. Well
the picture of this I've seen online, it looks nasty, you know, plastic and horrible, but it's actually quite robust. Because, you know, you don't want to drill it and it keeps breaking or something, but I'm quite impressed with it. It's, it's actually, this stuff is made out of glass reinforced plastic. It's oh, not is it? Just, oh, right, okay. Not just yeah. You've not got one for your plumbing goodies? No. Uh, Get all your stuff in there. Isn't it? Yeah. Got a winning ticket. So we've got the fucking expert ranging. We've got our range of uh, nail pouches, tool belts, our storage over here, all our main carpentry and woodworking uh, tools. Everyone needs one of these in their tool bag. Good old roofing square, yep. yeah. We need one of them. What have we been buying in, chaps? Well, well, I recently had a day's in it, so I've got myself. Oh, right, a new nice one. new one. Yeah, and uh, a pole to go with it. And he's treated himself to a lovely new bag. That's, That's what we were just looking at earlier, oh, the old nice posh bags. Yeah, really cool. So that one's 2,000 mm. lumens. Yeah. That takes Makita posh, Coke, oh, right. Panasonic. And this one's 4, up to 4,000. Yeah. All right. And again, yeah. It's very, a lot of the time you don't want them over bright. Yeah. And what you no. do, it works on a tab system inside. Oh, so right. Find a key truck button, a key oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you want a Bosch button. Yeah, yeah. Tab. Oh, it's great, yeah. Yeah, so you take the key to one off here. You're right, and you got, yeah. Slide him on there. And now we are Makita power. What's them brackets for? for the if you put a tripod, you oh, okay. yeah, yeah. up on yeah, the tripod. Oh, OK, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, I didn't want to ruin the display. No, it's just yeah, a, yeah. Of course, shit. Fuck. Bosh. Also, you can hang it on a scaffold yeah. or over a door. Or... They're neat, aren't they? Because I've just been looking at the Makita light downstairs, so this yeah. is on par with that. But we find their lights, they haven't got much of an output, have they? Um, I'm not sure, but also, I think it's quite a bigger unit than that. It's a little bit smaller, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so, so, Yeah, exactly. It, yeah, off. that's what I'm more attracted to. Yeah, that's what you I'm more attracted to, is taking that off. And you can charge your mobile off the back of the Oh, okay. Blimey. Yeah. Yeah, does everything right. Oh, okay. We've got something to make the tea. How much are them ones? Which ones, sorry? These ones, yeah. These are this 15-8. 21, including that. Is it? Um, I'll have two of them. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Benefit. Oh, okay. Cheers, Ben. I'm going to throw my Irwin ones He's away, feed, my little... You're, you're feeding your clamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't be able to hide it. He's filming you. I know, yeah. <laughs> He's on it. I've not tried these, but unlike the cheaper ones, they get to a certain point and then they just stop, don't they? Yeah. They yeah. don't actually... No, you've got your dead spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's against the That's against the rules, isn't it? <laughs> that's terrible. I reckon it's brilliant. Battery. <laughs> Always happens, mate. Yeah, this is the BS250, which is a, you can use it with the stand or you can have it on a bench top. Right, yes. Obviously, when you go through the range of bandsaws, if you want to go down and the Sabre 250 is an upgrade of the BS250 with more features and benefits. Oh, on. Okay. And then you jump up. This is our core range now. The Sabre's our core range of bandsaws. So this is one of the biggest sellers, which is the Sabre 350, which means you've got a 350 wheel. Right. Diameter wheel. Yep. You've got 11 inch depth of cut. And obviously, we have an 11 inch depth of cut. Your motor size increases compared to the 250 as you're moving on. And then we move on to the Sabre 450, which again, you've gone up in size, you've gone up to a 450 millimeter wheel. So your depth of cut increases, but you've still got the facility of the other band saws, but on a bigger scale, uh, more industrial if you like. Yep. That's one's off a 16 amp supply rather than the normal household right. three yeah. pin supply. Three phase. Uh, but that's our core range of band saws. We have got another couple in the range, which is a, a BS300 and a BS350 that fit the gaps in between it. But what we've done for DNM is tried to sort of give them an idea of yeah. the range we've got. And as you can see below them, you've got the dust extractors which is the Canvac range of dust extractors. And again, you can get them in one, two or three motors with different sort of capacities in the drum. Right. Uh, that's a, a 55 litre drum. So that's a 336-4, which is a two, uh, two motored Canvac. Four inch yours. This is the new bayonet fitting we've got on there. So if you've got a multitude of machines, oh, just unplug it, then. you can un take that out and then put the next machine in and then keep it in situ. Yeah, nice. This is the core range of lathes that we've got. This is the Coronet Herald, uh, which is really the star of our range, if you know what I mean. It's one that suits a, a multitude of sins. 
because it suits everybody from the beginner right up to a professional really because what you can do it's got the bed extension on here as you can see which yep. is going to increase the capacity when you're doing spindle work but if you did take that extension off you squeeze it back on there you can go from what is a big machine and you can squeeze it right in to a nice yeah, compact nice, machine mm, in a yes, workshop yeah. now you can bench mount this or you can have it on the legs and then a couple of the accessories is like the emergency stop that you need but one of the advantages of record on the design is that we've got this swivel head application. So you imagine you've got a spindle on there, but then you put a bowl on. If you put the bowl on, you're sort of leaning in here. It becomes a little bit uncomfortable if you're training right. somebody or you've yeah. got somebody older. Or So what you can do is you can just rotate the head and bring the banjo in place. And oh, you've right. opened up the workshop. Yeah. So, so what you can do then is you, you can actually move this banjo to the other side and we put like a bowl um, saver on there and it, it just helps and makes it more comfortable mm, way yeah. to do it. But then these two are the big brothers of that. So we've got the envoy and the region. So all we've done is increase the capacity and the motor size. Again, that's got the bed extension on. But you go then to a 16 inch uh, capacity over the bed. But again, that does swivel head. We've got it locked in place at the moment. If you loosen that off, it rotates mm. round and again. It's a bit different. If you come to this one, you'll see the outrigger that you can put. Oh, on. okay, yes. This is the same outrigger, but we've jumped up now to an 18 inch capacity on that. You've got the forward reverse and the operation for it all. And if you rotate that round, all the way around, you can move that out of the way and you can use this as your support. And then you can do the bigger oh, balls yes, yeah. as well as being over the bed. We've opened the Loads, machine yeah, right up. Nice. So these come with the legs. You can buy the collection tray as an extra if you want to. Uh, you can buy the bed extension if you want to. You can buy the outrigger. So mm -hmm. it just completes yeah. the range really. So you've gone from what we call a 1420 to a 16 to an 18 inch machine. Each time you're increasing the capacity of the motor, which in gives you the chance to increase the size of the timber yeah. you're using. So we try and cover the full yeah. range, but this is like I said, the core range. This is the, the coronet machines that are traditional they've been, been with the record a long time all right how big a motor is that is that a 16 no that's a normal three pin plug 13 is it yeah. really it's yeah. not it looks like yeah yeah it's probably maxing out what you can go to yeah yeah i was gonna say it looks like yeah. three phase almost but no um, no just a single phase 